What's up everybody, Steve with Steve Invest, helping people get better with money and their investments. Look, I've been there, big mortgage, several credit cards maxed out, and it sucked. I was just completely being irresponsible. But I can tell you, if you're in the same position, you can get out of it and you can achieve financial freedom in a quick period of time. So I got five good tips for you guys on how to eliminate credit card debt fast. All right, so let's dive into this. Number one is sacrifice and commitment. The first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna sit down with you, your family, your significant other, your children, whoever it is that lives in your household that's part of your daily life. You're gonna sit down and get everybody on the same game plan. You guys are gonna talk about all your debt, all your debt obligations, exactly what you guys are spending money on, whether it's for necessity or not, and you're gonna get everybody on the same page to eliminate any future spending, meaning no more spending on anything that's a non-necessity. Now, non-necessities, think about it. What do you need? At the end of the day, we need a handful of things. It's food, water, shelter, the necessities to live, transportation, okay? So everybody has to get on the same page and have a certain level of commitment as well as a certain level of accountability to each other. Look, this is the first step. If there's any resistance, you guys have to nail this down right from the beginning because these future steps are not gonna make sense. You're not gonna be able to integrate or implement anything else until everybody is on the same page. Number two, sell, sell, sell. We're gonna sell everything that we have that we do not use or is not a necessity. I can tell you I've met with several people in my life who are friends as well as coworkers, other real estate agents, and we talk about their financial position, what they have, what they use on a daily basis, and what they really don't need. And uh, I can tell you, a lot of people have listened to me, whether they've sold um, vacation homes or they sold a motorcycle that they don't use, and they utilize the funds from these to actually pay down credit card debt obligations or other debt obligations. So what you guys are gonna do is have fun with it. Go throughout your house. Find out anything and everything that you guys don't use. I don't care if it's a 50 cent mug or a $40,000 motorcycle. You gotta sacrifice now, even if it is the motorcycle that you love and you enjoy. I can tell you, if you follow this plan of action, you will have a better motorcycle in the future without any debt and any debt obligation on it. So go through your house, find everything and everything that you can sell and start selling it. Now compile a list, put all this stuff in a room or a corner of a room and start putting this stuff on Facebook Marketplace, put it on Craigslist, put it on eBay, put it on any, any marketplace that's out there. If you don't know how to do it, get on YouTube and search how to post on eBay, how to post on Craigslist. It's fairly simple. Take pictures of the items, I'd say at least five to 10 pictures of every item. Put them out there, put them uh, competitively priced. If you're not getting any action or activity on these items, then lower the prices and continue to lower the prices until they sell. Now, very, very important, the funds from these, they're to be used for nothing else besides paying down credit card debt. So what you're gonna do is every time you get these funds, it's say at least once a week, you put it in a shoebox, and then go to your local bank and you deposit that money in your local bank and you're gonna cut a check to the credit card companies to reduce that debt obligation. Number three, side hustle. I, can, I hear it all the time, all the time. Steve, I don't have time, I don't have time. I can tell you, you do have time. There's a, a small amount of people that really don't have time and they're already working three jobs or whatever the case is. But most of us do have time. If you're currently employed, do you have lunch breaks? Do you have uh, certain breaks? Do you have time in the morning before you get to work? Can you get up earlier before work? What about after work, on nights, on weekends, on vacations? Do you have extra time to make money in your spare time? I believe you do. I think time is subjective and people are just not responsible with time. Also, I do have a good clip on time management. You wanna check that out. Um, but you gotta create the time to go ahead and create a side hustle for yourself. Now you might be saying, what kind of side hustle? I don't know what else I can do. It doesn't take much to create additional revenue if you're smart about it. So for example, let's say you love social media and you post on social media but it's for you know, it's for entertainment or whatever the case is. What if you posted, I know a lot of real estate agents that could use this service, what if you posted two posts a week for a real estate agent and you charged $40 a month for that. And what if you got five real estate agents? You collect $200 a month just for posting posts about real estate or their new listing or tips on 
curb appeal or what you can do to make the property more sellable or whatever the case is. It's going to provide that real estate agent with the exposure to their database of people on their Facebook pages and you can create that additional revenue. I don't know, have you ever painted the inside of your house? I know I have. I've painted you know, throughout high school and in college and I made good money doing so. If you like painting, what if you went around your neighborhood with a flyer and said, free quote to paint the inside or outside of your home. I know a lot of homes say a three bedroom, two bathroom home. You can competitively price compared to any other painting companies, paint the inside of a house for say $500 that's $500 net to you. You know, they'd be responsible for the paint and so forth. But let's say you did one of those a month, that's $500 a month. And as mentioned on the last tip, you wanna take those funds and they're strictly used for paying off your credit card debt. Number four, housing. I know a ton of people that do not live within their means, meaning they maxed out their loan, they were approved for 300,000 and they went up to 300,000 to buy that property and their house poor at the end of the day. So can you sell that house and live a little bit less than desirable right now and sacrifice a little bit and have a cheaper mortgage and live more free and live in a, a smaller house than something that you're living in right now? Can you reduce that overhead? If you can't or maybe you're upside down or you lose money on the deal, can you figure out ways to create money from your house? Can you rent out a, a bedroom? Uh, if you're on some land, you have a shed that you could rent out. Maybe somebody wants to store an RV or boat on your property. Get creative. There are ways to make money from the house that you live in. And if they're not, figure out how you can reduce that monthly overhead, that monthly expenditure. And as mentioned, any kind of money that you make there or any kind of savings, let's say you sold the house and now you're saving $300 a month, take that money and put it directly toward your credit card debt every single month. And tip number five, the pay down process. What you're gonna do is you're gonna pay the minimum payment on every credit card except for one. So let's say you have three credit cards. You're gonna do minimum payment on the first two and then the third one you're gonna pay extra on top of. So all these other tips that we talked about, whether it's the side hustle or make money from your house or, or selling certain items, you're gonna pay off that first credit card amount with all these additional tips, all these additional savings, all these additional side hustles. So as soon as you pay that down, then you're gonna take all those funds plus that minimum payment, you're gonna put it toward the next credit card. And you're gonna do the same thing. While the third one, you're gonna keep doing the minimum payment on. So once you eradicate the second credit card debt, then you're gonna take all those funds and you're gonna put it toward the third one. Eventually, you're gonna eradicate all your credit card debt and then take the same mentality and move it towards student loans, move it toward a car payment, and eventually move it toward the house that you live in. And my bonus tip for you guys is I never finance anything that doesn't put money directly back into my pocket every single month. I can tell you, by following these five tips, I know you guys can get out of credit card debt. I know you guys can get out of debt altogether. You can live a debt-free life. And I can tell you, if you do achieve debt-free living and create financial freedom for yourself, it's a different kind of lifestyle. I can tell you, you're gonna be less stressed and you're gonna just live better. You have one life to do this, guys, and there's a lot of stuff that you guys accumulate and spend money on that you don't need, and we all do this. We all spend money on senseless stuff, and I've been there, I get it, I know it, but I can tell you, reduce the amount of stuff that you guys have. The stuff that you accumulate just stuffs your head with more and more stress and things to keep, take care of. So go ahead, do yourself a favor, eliminate this stuff. Follow this plan, follow these five steps. Watch this video a couple times over and over. Watch this video with your family and friends. Get on the same page because once you take action and you do this and implement it, you are gonna live a better life. Hey, I appreciate you guys watching this. If you did like it, hit the subscribe button. I have more videos coming out every single week on how you can invest better, grow your uh, financial position, create financial freedom, and live a better life. I appreciate the support. Thanks a lot.